Hello everyone. Um, today, we got kind of an interesting situation. Um, so, I'm upstairs and I heard the alarm to my battery backup sump pump go off. And um, I came down to take a look at it and um, I discovered that the pump went off and when I took a closer look at the float, um, I noticed that the float was raised, which the float is the switch, and it should have kicked on the main pump, but it didn't. So um, I'm going to show you what I did, and I'm going to show you kind of how to troubleshoot it. And then ultimately, in my case, um, I needed to go pick up uh, another pump. And so I did, and um, um, I'll step you through kind of the pump that I got, where I got it from, and then um, we'll go through how to replace the, the main pump. So let's get on it. Right here is my backup motor. It's my backup pump, and um, the float for that for that pump is actually right there. So I got a little light on there if you can see it. Now the problem with the way this is set up is that my float right here is actually um, a little higher, or I'm sorry, it's a little bit lower than my motor, and so that's a problem because. Um, you know the the float goes up that's the switch and that switch says hey you got a problem your battery backup uh, needs to kick in and there's something wrong with the main and um, the water's not high enough really for this for this uh, backup motor to kick in so the resolution to that is to simply just move that up a little higher but um, you know that that's really not the concern right now the concern is with the main pump and the switch and you'll see the main pump is cast iron it's down here okay and that's the right over here is the float and the switch for the main pump and this is actually the the uh, outlet uh, for the main okay so uh, my switch is actually I mean, you'll see it back here but the float is underneath it and if I push it down I mean, it's definitely at the top, so that should be triggering that pump, okay, and it's not. So, in order to rule out a problem with the switch or the pump, what you can do is, and you'll notice that there are, there are, two, um, there are two power cords, okay, one of them goes to the, to the uh, switch, which is right here, this goes to the switch, and this one right here goes to the main pump. So what you do is trace these back to the outlet and um, the switch will control the power so you should be able to unplug the pump from the switch and plug your pump directly into the outlet and it should run and if it doesn't you'll know that there's a problem with the pump itself and so we'll go ahead and do that real quick this right here is the uh, this is my switch okay so this is to the actual motor I should just be able to plug this in directly and it should power up I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug this in and we'll see if the main powers. Alright, so I've got that in. Now my battery backup's done running, but I've got the main in and there's no power. Alright, you can, you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but believe me, no power. Okay. So that tells me that my main, my main motor is out, uh, possibly the switch, but I'm not too concerned about the switch, it's the main motor. Okay, so that leads me to the fact that I'm gonna need to grab a new pump. On the pump, I went down to Menards and they have a bunch of different pumps. This is the one I grabbed. Um, this is a Barracuda, and it's a one-third horsepower, and it's got a lifetime warranty on it. Um, I don't really put a lot of weight into the warranties, but it does tell me that the manufacturer at least believes in their product. And if you go to search or research uh, Barracuda, you won't find much on them because Barracuda is branded by the manufacturer specifically for Menards okay but um, I think there is another pump called Superior and I forget the model number but they look very similar so they're, they're probably made from the same manufacturer this is all cast iron so cast iron is nice it's heavy uh, it's sturdy it's not going to go anywhere and again this is a one-third horsepower now when you go, you're going to see a quarter, you'll see a third, you'll see a half, and you'll probably see a three-quarter horsepower at all your big box stores. And you might be thinking, well, which one do I get? Um, you can look at the one that you currently have and just replace it with the, with, uh, the same type of pump. In my case, um, 
it, it, it's so old that uh, it's corroded. You know, I, I, I don't see anything on it. Uh, there might be a plate underneath, so I'll look for that once I take it out. Um, but a, a very common type of pump in most households, depending on the vertical lift and the horizontal carry of the water, um, that'll help, you know, that, that, that has a factor in determining what type of horsepower to get. If you're anywhere from seven to 10 feet, a third of a horsepower should work just fine. Now I'm probably in that boat. I'm probably nine, 10 foot lift, a vertical lift going from my, um, my, my, where my pump will be and the ceiling. So a third should be fine for me. Okay, so that's the reason why I went with this right here. Um, I'll go ahead and get this unboxed and um, uh, start the pull out process of the other one. One thing to consider is where the uh, outlet is. Now, this is kind of a lower floor based outlet and there is an adapter piece on here depending um, on what you have, what you're going to. So we'll get in there and take a look at what I have because honestly, I don't know. So I'm gonna figure it out when I get in there and uh, we'll take a look. But I do know that you can get some pumps where the uh, the outlet is up top, and that's fine as well. But just know if 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 you're going from one that's at the base to the one up top, you're going to have to cut some um, you're going to have to cut some PVC and and trim it back a little bit. Likewise, if you're going from one at the top to one at the bottom, you're going to need um, you're going to need to purchase some additional PVC and extend that tubing down. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the old one out. So what we have right now, the reason you don't have any water coming out is because your check valve is right here. So there's water up through this tubing, but the check valve stops out water. So the purpose behind that is when the water's shooting up, it actually comes up through the tube, and when the water's down and the motor stops, the water wants to run back down, that, that check valve stops it. So it keeps the water up in here, okay? All right. Try to get the water out of the bottom of this thing. And let's move this thing out and take a closer look at it. Oh, here's the deal. Um, this is the old one. And what I had to do is to... <clears throat> I was trying to bust this off, but it was not coming. So what I did is... See, I cut it. I just used a saw and cut this off right here at the bottom. And that left me with this piece right here. And so I had to go back down to Menards. You can go to you know any, any box store, plumbing store, whatever you got. And I picked up this little piece right here. It's just a little adapter. This is a one and a half inch adapter. And it's got threads on one side um, that look like it, go, it goes into one and a quarter. But this fits the base of my sump pump. So this thing is going to screw in. And this piece right here is going to go in just like that. Okay, so in order to make this work though, uh, we had to get some PVC primer and glue. And we're gonna step into that right now and I'm gonna show you how to prime it, glue it, and put it together. We'll go over that. Okay, as we get going, um, I started to put this on, but one thing you, you need to understand is that this has the consistency of water. And so this thing gets messy really, really quick. And what you want to do is it's just got a little ball on the end of it. It's like a giant Q-tip, but you don't need much. And you want to um, put this over something like some paper or something you can throw away um, because it'll just drip right off. So you just dab it and you can see how it's running around the edges, right? So again, just prime up all around the edge and just go around it. Once it gets on the PVC and the plastic, it's um, you know it's there to do its job. At that point, it will it'll prep the surface for the cement and the adhesion, so uh, it'll be in good shape. Next comes the cement, and again, this is clear. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing with this. We're just going to rub it up and around, and you're going to want to put it on both. And once you get it on both, you're going to put them both together. The 
Smack these two together. And yeah, it's locked on there pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this down to the uh, the other pump and get this screwed in, and then um, we will go to reassemble the uh, check valve here at the top and put it back together and test it out. You'll see that this this adapter uh, fits in there nicely and it's just going to screw in and let's see I'm going to use this time to clean out the pit um, I don't know how well you can see it but in the bottom it looks like there's some growth coming through and um, so what I've done is I just got a bucket here and, and a glove I'm going to go ahead and do my best to drain that water out and clean it scrub the pit a little bit, put a little bit of bleach in there alright let's make some room and let's put this thing down in here alright so Using my flashlight, this might give you a better view. It's kind of hard for me to tell on this tiny little screen, but you have the main pump off to the left with the uh, backup pump off to the right. And um, what I'm gonna do right now is I am going to get some fresh water and pour it in here and uh, we'll test it out because I want to ensure that the main pump kicks off and uh, want to ensure we don't have any leaks coming from the check valves. You can see the float down there and it's slowly rising. There it goes, it's running. It's quiet. That's it. Looks good. I say if you have any questions, leave me a comment or send me a message and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks. Hope this helped you. Take care.